Ingo Rademacher established a prominent presence in the television industry through his long-standing role as Jasper Jax Jax, a sophisticated and affluent tycoon, on the popular ABC soap opera General Hospital. Over the course of nearly 25 years, Rademacher captivated audiences with his portrayal, garnering a dedicated following and solidifying his status as a seasoned actor within the industry. However, things took a turn for the worse when he was fired from the show in November 2021. After refusing to comply with the production's vaccine mandate, the following month, he sued ABC, saying the network didn't have the authority to force the vaccine on its employees and that he was unfairly denied a religious exemption. He further explained that ABC refused to accommodate his religious objections to the vaccine after it joined other studios in implementing mandates to combat the COVID-19 pandemic. He made other various claims, like a medical condition and religious discrimination, retaliation, wrongful termination, and violations of his right to privacy. At the time, ABC's parent company Disney had one of the strictest vaccine mandates of any Hollywood studio and most major corporations, but has since dropped all its COVID-19 vaccine requirements. The actor's attorney filed a complaint in LA Superior Court which read, ABC's actions are blatantly unlawful. ABC does not have the authority to force a medical treatment on its employees against their will. These actions constitute religious discrimination and violate Mr. Rademacher's rights under state and federal law. In March, the star's attorneys filed paperwork opposing ABC's motion to toss the case out. Rademacher alleged he was fired from the soap opera over his support for Donald Trump, as the GH team had objections to him voting for the former president in 2020, and not because of vaccine refusal or religion. Hence, he claimed that instead of being honest with him, ABC used the COVID vaccine policy as an excuse to get rid of him. ABC had a duty to accommodate Ingo, insisted the filing by his lawyers. Instead, it put him through a sham process that was designed to fail, and which was meant to cover up the real reason for Ingo's termination, his political views. But a Los Angeles judge sided with ABC, which maintained that the actor's opposition to the vaccine was more rooted in health reasons rather than religious beliefs as he mentioned in the lawsuit. It appears the court wasn't swayed by his arguments that ABC had a duty to consider his religious beliefs, no matter how unconventional they may seem. The former GH star had been a vocal critic of COVID-19 vaccine efficacy and mandates, receiving immense flack throughout the pandemic for authoring or sharing social media posts that questioned its importance. In August 2021, his pattern of social media messaging sparked the launch of hashtag FireIngo campaign. In response, the TV personality dropped an Instagram video in which he called hashtag FireIngo supporters bigots. If you want to take the vaccine, take it. Just know you're doing it for yourself, not to save anyone else, he slammed back. The 52-year-old also drew fire in 2021 for a retweet to transgender castmate Cassandra James. I don't think it's okay to call a transgender an empowered woman because where does that leave women, he proclaimed. Nevertheless, he later sought forgiveness from his former co-star, saying, I apologize to you sincerely. I think you're an absolute talent, and you're very beautiful as well. I don't think a transphobic man would say that. I think you're absolutely gorgeous. I really do. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel for more great content.